Are you always playing a site on Ancient and keep on dying and losing the game for your teammates? Well, today you will learn how the best players in the world play it, so you can become better. Rops is face dedicated anchor, and there he starts with getting fast up on the boost spot with this platting, and here he early plays anti flash to be prepared in case the T's are rushing. And as we can see, he's not alone, and this is why his position is so strong now. The T's will start by fighting this player, and Rops can trade. Playing her solo on A site is risky, but works. To get down, Rob smokes off main and then jumps down, just to be safe and goes to this angle, since now his other teammate is leaving to help mid or B. Even though no one is fighting and coming out on A, we can still see how much Rob's moves around to be unpredictable, so he will not just be peaked and die. Something to understand is that in today's meta, the A player usually does not have a lot of action at the highest level, and sorry to everyone, but if you are playing A and you keep getting rushed, it's most likely because you are doing it wrong and a bad job at holding it. So to make sure the A anchor has more impact, they've started to play in Donut to help middle and can from Donut stop the A plant and A side take. And here we see Rob switch between middle and A side just to always be on the lookout. And nobody comes to him so there's not much more to talk about. Ans has multiple players being the dedicated A side defender, so let's see how they do it. Well, when Sun Pius has the op, he loves to play early A side, since it's such an easy way to get free kills. All you need is to play behind the boxes or temple, or just hold for the T's rushing into your scope. It's one of the few spots where a solo AWP as an anchor can be powerful, and here he plays behind the boxes as an anti-flash mechanism, and when he can't see anyone, he just runs back to middle to have more impact here. Then we have Diha, and this shows you his understanding of A for the T's. If they are not rushing A main or A site, well they're usually playing outside of it, and not inside A main. And here he has the 4th worst position to rush A main, gets blocked by his teammate in spawn before he can run into A main. And here since the T's are not rushing, he can get a nice position deep inside A main, and this allows his teammate to focus B and middle, while he can just hold A main with a shotgun. And here he finds 2 kills, but does not change guns, since the shotgun is just so much better in this position. And he has a teammate in middle, so the T's can't come from red room or from their spawn, and by controlling A main, we have a full A side control. It's similar to how the AWP plays A, but since you have a shotgun, you need to play it closer. And in other times when Diha does this, he will usually push through A main and towards the spawn to become this type of like a lurking, flanking shotgun player. It's amazing to see and you can learn so much by how to do a great hold on Ancient. JKS starts by throwing this smoke bottom middle, and then runs towards A site with a Molotov in hand, since if he hears footsteps, he will be able to Molotov and pull out his gun before the T's can peek him. And then for him it's a waiting game. And here when he wants to fall back to reposition, he Molotovs just to not be caught off guard, and then he can move away. And here he goes behind the side box, and this is a great spot to play from. It gives you a nice headshot angle to fight any T swinging, as well as if CT and spawn get smoked, he will have a way out of sight if needed. And you can peek in many different ways from this box, from the top or the sides, and stay alive for a long time. And again, no one is coming A, but he still moves around a lot to not be read by the T's. This round starts the same until he falls back, this time he goes donut to help his two mid players. As we saw in round 16, no one came A, and then as the anchor you can't have a lot of impact, and this is why he now goes donut to take full mid control with his two mid players, and then he switches between donut and A site to make sure to not be caught off guard, and when the bomb carrier is killed and the bomb is dropped, you as the anchor can finally rotate to go help on B. Harlser, similar to JKS, starts by throwing this bottom mid smoke, and then he walks up towards A. And here just like JKS, he walks up close with a Molotov, and then when he hears the T's coming, he just Molotovs A main and can quickly get to an off angle behind this big box. And he can do this since the Molotov holds back the T's long enough. And here he's able to snatch up the ace for the round. And since the T's has to clear so much, the first and the second kills Halstruck gets are not even ready for him in this position. And this is the reason T's stay away from A site, since there is so much to clear. We are seeing Halstruck in a more safe A hold where he starts with the smoke, and then, since he has a donut player, he can play from spawn to hold off mid part of A main and the boxes. This is the only part of the T-Rush, where they have no places to hide and you can get some nice kills here. As well as this allows him to have more impact by being able to go middle, since he has a donut player, and from the anchor roll, you now can be more of the rotator. And we see Halstruck abusing this by going middle, and when some B players dies, he can rotate over to help quickly. A site is the least guarded site on Ancient and makes it an easy target for the T side. And this is why it's so important to be unpredictable as an anchor player here, since you can do so many good plays from this position, and you just need to know how, and I hope this video showed you. 
and I hope this video showed you how to be a better anchor player on A. Thanks for watching, and our two videos YouTube told me you would like. Bye.